ओके सो हाई गाइस आई होप एवरीबडी इज डूइंग वेल हियर वी हैव ए फुटेज एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सम रोटो टेक्निक्स इन साइड न्यूक सो कन्फर्मिंग दी फ्रेम रेंज एंड प्राइज सेटिंग्स सो दैट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड लेट्स प्ले द फुटेज एंड सी सो हियर वी हैव ए फुटेज विथ अ लॉट ऑफ क्रिसमस डेकोरेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डू सम सिंपल स्टफ ओवर दिस फुटेज सो टेक ए टेक्स नोट and i'm going to write a uh, merry christmas as text by the way i wish every one of you a uh, very happy christmas and new year i know this year sucks but uh, let's be calm and uh, let's hope for a better 2021 so let's place the text over here and uh just increase the size a bit i know okay 250 that's <laughs> that's more okay i will just give 150 okay this this is fine let's place the text let's organize this stuff little bit let's move it over here so this is fine okay so i have placed the text now let's play and see this works okay now we can do a lot of stuff over here uh, i'm going to uh, i'm going to do a grade here let's organize this stuff a little bit let's keep the grade note down the footage okay let's organize this stuff a little bit let's take a roto and mask it over and let's take a rectangle tool or rectangle roto mask i have added a rectangle roto mask and um let's grade this bit no i'll just down multiply yep this works so this looks neat right so yep uh, our basic stuff is ready and now we can do uh, some other stuff like uh, i will uh, color correct um this ball kind of shape and uh, um i'll just tell you like uh, take a grade node and let's connect this stuff here let's connect the mask okay i will arrange this a bit i'll take this stuff from here and i will connect over here okay so uh what is the task is like uh, i'm going to draw a shape over here basically i'm going to color correct this a uh, ball kind of shape uh so adjusting the roto shape a little bit this side too okay so i'm going to uh, color grade a little bit oops okay the mask is wrongly connected i guess yeah i'm just connecting it again yep so uh now you can see the cc has been applied on that ball so let's keep it like uh, pure red okay so this is another task which i'm going to do you know we have a, like a uh, movement for that ball like swing kind of movement so it's very hard to animate the roto inside new unless we have a good track so for tracking let's take mocha pro so mocha pro fx is a very handy tool inside new Let's go into the first frame and let's uh, launch Mocha Pro. So this is the latest version of Mocha Pro. So yeah, just go into the first frame. And before that, I will just set the frame range like hundred and two fifty. So this is the work range. Uh, I'll just click on this icon over here. Okay. So our frame range is set, and now let's track the footage. We are going to draw a spline over this ball. So before that, I will just go into the first frame and let's take the X plane inside Mocha and let's draw a uh, shape over this ball. It need not be like a uh, very accurate, but I am just drawing it a uh, little bit accurate this time uh, to track it very nicely uh, because there is little defocus in that object, so that might distract my track a little bit. So I am just uh, drawing the shape. uh a little bit accurate in little bit accuracy okay so i have drawn the shape now let's uh just check on this like transform option i don't want uh any other tracking properties like rotate scale nothing and all the settings as default and let's track so yep the tracking is almost done yep we have tracked this ball here we have the track and uh, you know there is two options to export export track and export shape i'm going to export track copy to clipboard and save this file and this just paste it over in new so we have the corner pin data of that shape here and let's connect that into the roto okay so 
let's go into the first frame and let's um, set the frame into the first frame okay for that copy from and just remove the animation uh, from all these four corner points okay done now let's play and see how the roto is looking amazing right we don't know how to we don't have to stress a lot uh, doing roto inside nuke if we have the ofx version of mocha and it's very handy now the roto is done now let's match the defocus for the shape and you can see a lot of defocus animation there so uh, there are a lot of ways to match this defocus but uh, let's uh, let's treat it straight okay so here we have the option of uh, selecting the feather points so just select the shape and uh, just scale it uh, so you, you can see the feather edge is scaling up and uh, you can see if you check the uh, output you can see uh, the defocus is there but it's not that accurate as it is very sharp so for that what we can do is like uh, uh, if you if you have a closer look here you can see the feather is matched absolutely uh, correct you know uh, like the hard edge and the outer pixel is matched but i'm gonna reset this feather and i'm gonna show you yet another method let's see how accurate that results are okay so here we have the hard edge and we have the outer edge uh, here also i'll just turn the gamma down here we have the hard edge and also we have the last pixel of the defocus here so this much area we need to cover with uh, the blur and erode so i have took the wrong node let's take erode node erode fast so or delete okay so um, just give a value of uh, let's give a value of 10 and let's see how much we can push yep we have pushed the uh, outer edge or the or the hard edge of the roto into 15 pixels so this works fine because it is almost like uh, 50 50 of that shape and the blur let's give a blur value of 30 uh, let's see the blur has been applied now let's check uh, the alpha take a shuffle node okay let's shuffle all channels into alpha okay and let's arrange this stuff a little bit okay i'm gonna take a merge node and uh, i'm gonna merge this alpha over the input and check so this seems okay i mean uh, the blur is there the defocus is there everything is there but let's if we check the alpha but before that i will just reduce the blur a bit you can see the alpha is way far than the uh, actual last pixel so we can decrease the blur a bit again this works fine right so almost the last pixel is matched you can see the hard edge also here uh, if you gamma down the uh, like uh, you can see right so the hard edge is there and also the outer pixel is matched but if you check the alpha like uh, there are a lot of problems there so let's let's uh, let's view in the gray node and let's see how accurate the defocus is before that i will just delete this stuff here and let's delete the shuffle node also okay you can see some weird hard edge is there uh, uh, because of that dilate i guess uh, so i'm gonna delete this stuff and let's go into the uh, feather options i mean i'm I, i'm repeating it again there are a lot of ways to match this defocus this is not the only ways so let's let's scale up the feather again okay i'm uniformly feathering uh, and matching that area so this is this gives a much decent result right almost here also we have some uh, uh, like weird artifacts or weird hard edge but uh, this works let's go with this stuff okay and uh, uh, you know the hard edge is very sharp right so or before that i will just uh, take a shuffle node and uh, let's see so you can see the hard edge is very sharp you can see the hard edge here and also the last pixel here so this is matched 
but uh, this is very hard right so for that i will take a blur node and just give it a blur of value okay so uh, a, a, a value of 20 works i guess nice so now you can see the blur has been applied into that hard edge and it's blended okay so cool so now we have almost matched this defocus of this ball decoration and i know there are some weird artifacts for that i'm just scaling the shape little bit inside and let's see how that results looks okay so this works fine let's play and see how it is coming amazing so that stuff is done we have color corrected that ball okay so right now just go into the grade node and let's color correct it a little bit more after a lot of hassle i came up with this uh, color i know this is not that uh, suitable for this decoration but um, let's see okay so the cc part with that roto is done and now let's move into the next task okay right so we have the merge over here now i'm gonna roto that shoes of that uh, christmas papa and uh, let's take mocha pro for that okay so mocha pro is here and let's take let's draw a shape over here so uh, mocha i mean the latest version of mocha pro has a new tool power mesh which is very handy for uh, uh, roto as well as uh, doing prep uh, so i'm gonna uh, use that for this uh, roto let's see how the results looks okay for power mesh we are drawing the shape little accurate i'm just uh, turning on the power mesh and turning off all other options except transform so we have a lot of settings here i have made specific tutorials on these settings of power mesh and uh, you can check that over in my uh, youtube channel and uh, straight away we are going to track the footage and let's track so our tracking is almost done yep we have tracked these uh, shoes and uh, i mean there are two options to export this uh, uh like exporting track and exporting shape so instead of track uh, exporting track i'm gonna export shape so before that i will adjust the uh, roto a bit because uh, there is little bit of work needed in the edges so i'm adjusting it very fast yep so almost the roto is ready i mean it's not that accurate like with the edges and all but uh, let's keep this as our final and export the shape so we have a lot of options to export also uh, i'm going to export uh, as new roto we have the option of exporting new roto here and copy to clipboard just save the file close it just paste it over here right and let's take a copy pre mold and let's connect that into the uh, input and let's connect the um, a pipe into the roto let's take a merge and let's connect this pre mold into the merge okay now you can see uh, we have uh, revealed um, that shoe shape and uh, merge it over the text so let's blur this little bit uh, and in the footage you can see um, like there is a rack focus in the shoes so you we have to use some other steps like masking uh, one part of the shoes with uh, a roto and if you check the input you can see it is very sharp over here and it's very blurry over the back part of the shoes so let's draw a shape over here to mask and using a blur we can create that feel so you can do like uh, if you have if we have a complex shape to uh, animate inside nuke you can use the ofx version here also just go into ofx version of mocha and uh, uh, just uh, draw a shape over there and you can do like uh, i'm going to draw a shape over here and uh, okay the shape is done almost done okay this is done and let's instead of tracking the shape separately i'm going to link to i'm going to link the track uh, and you can see uh, the track has been applied in that shape and it's very really easy right i know this is easy kind of easy for this shot but if it is a uh, shot which uh, have a lot of animation you can use this method copy to clipboard save it and paste it over here so i'm just gonna replace that shape with this one okay and this is done
so let's feather it out to blend that uh, f- uh, defocus I mean rack focus so yep now the feather has been applied and let's give a blur of 15 that is uh, more okay I will just give 10 okay this looks fine and let's merge it over so yep this is the modern way of rotoscoping using OFX version and nuke uh, if you have the OFX version of Nuke, is, it is very handy for you to do uh, roto stuff inside uh, your prep task or compositing task or if you are doing a roto task also. Yep, this looks amazing, right? Our final output is ready and I hope this tutorial is useful for every one of you and I wish you again Merry Christmas and very Happy New Year.